Perplexity AI just got a new feature and it's called pages. Now, some people in the community are saying this is like creating your own Wikipedia pages you can share within the internet. Therefore, in today's video, we're going to go ahead and learn everything we can do with the pages feature in Perplexity AI. Let's go ahead and jump into today's video. Welcome back y'all. On today's video, we're going to check out everything we can do with Perplexity AI and this new feature. Now, if you don't even know what Perplexity AI is and what it can do, check out that video right there. In about eight minutes, I go over everything you can do with the Perplexity AI, such as creating images, choosing models, everything above the board. In this video, though, we're going to check out a pretty cool feature called Pages that allow us to create Wikipedia-like websites that we can access and share. To start off, all we need to do is come up here to Library, hit Page. Once we're in the Page tab, it's going to give us suggested topics we can start with. We can also start with our own topic. So we could basically type anything in here. For example, I could type, how do I make homemade kimchi? I went to Korea a couple weeks ago and this stuff's good. Really good. Sizzle some good meat, hanu with some kimchi, maybe a little bit of the pink salt and you're good to go. But we can go ahead and ask a question like this. We can choose how we want to structure the actual context or the way it goes about choosing the dictation of presenting the knowledge or information. My head's in the way. Let me move. Anyone would be intended for anyone to understand. I think that's kind of obvious in the name. Now, if you really know a topic, you'll probably go with experts. If you kind of know a topic, you'll probably go with beginners. But for most use cases, I'm probably going to go with anyone. Unless like I am completely new to the topic. Let's go and check out how we make a homemade kimchi and see how it structures its outputs. Begin generation. Now, this feature is pretty cool, y'all. I'm going to show you something I did earlier today that actually impressed me. I think the output wasn't 100% correct, but it was like 60% correct. But the actual inquiry I asked, I was getting sources that I didn't even know existed or I forgot existed for that underlying question. This, though, gave us a pretty good outline of how to make homemade kimchi recipe. Now, notice how it actually changes the initial inquiry. It went from a question to a title. Furthermore, it will scour through the Internet. And it's actually still writing, funny enough. <laughs> It will scour through the internet and find a relevant image. This image isn't always the best image. It, it seems like that's not the most optimized part of this tech as of now. You can actually drag and reposition this if you choose to do so. We can actually edit the layout from small header image to no header image. You know, obviously this stuff's going to improve over time, but it kind of shows you where the text going. Furthermore, we have a nice little outline we can jump to. And scrolling down here, we can actually add media. We can insert sections. So for example, if I wanted to insert section here saying just the ingredients, funny enough, notice how this suggested are actually relevant to the topic you chose. Let's hit add here. Then it will generate the relevant information I'm requesting. So basically everything that is encompassed in making a good kimchi. Pretty nice. Furthermore, notice how anything it references, it will give us the relevant sources here and the associated links to them. So for example, if here I'm reading this and I'm like, you know what, where is this coming from? I can hit it and it'll actually take me directly to where I got that information. Solid. Here was the output for the essential ingredients. Write it down. Write it down real quick. Let's keep going. This kind of layout and structuring is giving me Notion vibes. If you're familiar with Notion, it's a note taking platform. But to be honest with you, you can do a ton of stuff on it. It's past that nowadays. It's kind of gives me Notion a little bit, but in a good way. Less manual work, more automated work. You could really create some fleshed out pages here. And the feature really shines in the context of sharing these pages. Now, when you share these pages, they can actually be any perplexity user. All we need to do is hit publish. Once I hit publish, it's going to say your page is published. Pretty nice. I can go ahead and copy the link here, or it's actually copied automatically to our clipboard. Furthermore, we can share it with the relevant different social medias. And funny enough, I'll go ahead and actually leave the link to this in the description down below. So if you ever want to make kimchi, you can make some kimchi. I've gone ahead and taken that link and used an incognito tab to show you what it looks like when you're not signed in or signed up. This right here is why it's being compared to a Wikipedia like page as you're able to actually access information in a structured way. Furthermore, with the relevant sources pointed out. Now, what's interesting here is it's prompting me to actually ask related questions. So, for example, I could click this and keep going down this rabbit hole, which is pretty solid as I'm not even signed up or signed in and I can start leveraging this platform right away. That covers mostly of what you can do in this platform. Now, what's funny is I actually did a little bit of messing around with asking a random page question here. Check this out. I wasn't expecting any type of response from this to be accurate, but it's actually kind of crazy how it searches the internet and grabs data. So I'm going to hit enter here. So right off the bat, this is the wrong Corbin Brown. <laughs> this is the wrong image. I guess maybe I represent sand. Obviously, it's not perfect. And to be fair, there's probably not a lot of information about my background. See, notice though how it pulls up AI developer. So it did get that right. It does seem to just kind of connect the name and, you know, different information. What's cool though is when it gets the information right, it really gets it right. And you're like, wait, where's that even from? For example, it went ahead and grabbed a source from Odyssey and 
if you know or not, I have the channel linked to this and basically anytime I upload a video it will automatically upload to Odyssey. It's funny though, how it actually was able to find the about me in Odyssey when doing this search. I think that's pretty cool. As you kind of see where it's going, obviously all this is not perfect at all. That was a pretty cool use case I saw. There you go. That goes over the pages feature found in Perplexity AI. You see where the text going. You can kind of see long-term how this is going to fruition within our workflow and daily lives. If you're already a Perplexity AI user, this is a big advantage. I think you are getting a ton of value here if this fits within the context of your workflow. If you wanna see more videos on Perplexity AI, I'm gonna leave a playlist at the end here. You can check out. It goes over a ton of different stuff we can do within this platform. I'll also leave that video I referenced in the beginning that goes over basically most of its features in eight minutes. I'll see you in the next video. That's the playlist I was referring to when it comes to Perplexity AI and its capabilities. And that is the eight minute video. It's eight minutes. Learn everything you can do. And I'll see you in the next video.